When you're happy with your design, the final step is to add the sequences. Click on Sequence, click on your scaffold. You have a choice of the known scaffolds or you could add a custom sequence. I'll add M13 here. Click Apply and it places the sequence within my scaffold structure here. But if I'm not happy with the position of the sequence, I can actually change it by adding a break anywhere I like in the scaffold. And now if I apply the sequence again, it's going to start from the 5' prime end of the break. So I can apply M13 again, and it has shifted the position of the M13 sequence without, within my scaffold. So I can do that until I'm happy with the positioning of the sequence. And just to clean things up here, I'll heal that break. This is all you need to do. Then export a list of your staple strands. That will help you to uh, order them to be synthesized. And finally, you can export basically this image as a blueprint of your structure. And that's it. It's ready to be tested out in the lab.